was clearer than a memory. And I heard the sound of thundering hooves, splintering shields and ringing swords. And I placed my hair upon the iron throne. And all the dragons roared as one. How do you man? How are you doing today? Good. Hey, bad. You. Hey, bad. So, on a very base level, very first episode, that's all I've seen so far. Mm. There is an orgy. There is violent deaths. Mm. There is political intrigue and skullduggery. Mm -hmm. It's giving everything that Game of Thrones fans might want. Yeah. But you can't just give them what they want. You have to mix it up a bit. You do. What do you think does mix this up, remixes this from the original series the most? What makes it kind of more of a powerhouse? I don't think it's that really. I mean, I think people are going to be interested because it's Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. And I think it's well within the world of Game of Thrones. It's not a reimagining, it's not a, a, a reboot in any way or a spin off. And that's one of the things that attracted me to it. When I read it, it had this massive scale to it, even on the page. So, yeah, we get to start this story off, and, and the world's already been established through the original series. So, uh, we get to start right with the Targaryen family at the height of their power, gigantic dragons like you've never seen. So, but but when it comes down to it, what makes Game of Thrones great is the the story between the characters and the relationship, all the things you describe, the intrigue and the dysfunction and all those things. It's slightly more localized. It's a slightly more localized mm. story than Game of Thrones. Like quite quickly started bopping around mm. to different realms, whereas we're we're focused. It's a sort of family yeah. drama in a way. There's a scene between you both, uh, kind of a face to face scene in the throne room, and it just it, it was like. This is it. This is this is. There's, you drop a fantastic C bomb in, in that scene. <laughs> well, you got it. You know, when it comes in front of you, <laughs> you got to get around it. Got to get your teeth into it. <laughs> you have. But it felt like one of those scenes that immediately people will already be referencing because it, it does have fantastic dialogue and has tremendous performances. When you're doing okay. scenes like that, can you can you kind of feel it in the moment? Where you're like, yeah, like yeah, you have fans. to, you have to, yeah. Well, you you've got to play what you're playing in front of you. You know, you've got you've got a deeply wounded character in Viserys, who's... and also in Damon. Yeah, they're both wounded, aren't they? They're yeah, both... they are. But I think that, you know, Viserys is wounded by his brother's words. That is all I meant, and mm -hmm. you know, he's going through this sort of grieving. He's made a terrible decision, um, chosen the realm over his wife, and. He's, so, he's dealing with all this stuff, and I think that's what makes it combustible. That the last thing he needs is Damon disrespecting him. He's supposed to be my brother. He's supposed to have my back. I'm supposed to trust him. So um, it's hurtful. Yeah, you've obviously filmed the entire first season already, so yeah. you kind of know you you guys know what to expect, but the fans might not necessarily know what to expect in terms of action and set pieces and and, and stuff like that. Do you think there's stuff coming up that it definitely is going to get? Game of Thrones fans very excited. I hope so. It's a bit like I, I think of it like a second album. You're sort of trying to deliver the the tonal context of the band's first great album, but you know, you're also trying to develop and make your own original hits and I think it's a bit of both. I think I think whilst we're trying to deliver the hits of the first album, we're trying to move the story forward. It's a different set of actors, it's set two hundred years yeah. before. It's a different the, you know, the fabric of it is inherently different. Mm -hmm. Um, how I don't know how that's going to play out, but, but it goes off. Good, if that's what you mean. Yeah. Oh, it goes off. Yeah, 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 yeah big yeah. time. And you've got Miguel, who is like the, the connecting thread a, a little bit in, in terms yeah. of in terms of that. Well, he directed some of the when I was watching the the series, he directed some of the most epic episodes, mm. like the Battle of the Bastards, which mm. just ridiculous for for a sort of uh, fantasy war going on with giants and things. I mean, Lord of the Rings was some incredible stuff, but I'd never watched a fantasy and felt like I was watching Saving Private Ryan. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it, was, yeah, yeah. it was really well executed. So, um, yeah, and, and, and his involvement obviously is, is, is really important to it. Um, to have someone there who's got all the experience of going through it the first time, I think, was was a real big thing for us. Yeah, absolutely. Like, and the description of Sam Prober Ryan is is spot on. So, yeah, okay, you've 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 suitably hyped me up from what's to come. So, congratulations. Yeah. I hope you enjoy it. Yeah. Well, I'm going to see it again on the big screen. So, yeah. I'm excited for that one later on this evening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, nice. All right. I'll cool. see you then, gentlemen. Yeah. Thank you so nice much. Nice one, brother. Thanks, buddy. Yeah. See you again. Have a good day.